I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of WP Master Clone. WP Master Clone is one of the easiest WordPress site cloners to use on the market today. It's as easy as loading it up, entering your WP admin URL for the source, the admin username and password, and the same for the destination, and then pressing Start Clone. Now, we've got tooltips at the side of these, so you can have a look what the different options do. We've also got advanced clone mode. In advanced clone mode, you've got different settings that you can choose for different sites. You can skip files larger than a certain amount. You can adjust the maximum memory that the scripts can take if your host allows it. And the same with the maximum um, execution time the script can take to run. That's another host option. Again, if you look at the tooltips, you'll see exactly what these options do. So that's the uh, in the advanced. Now, these two are both in the standard version. In the pro version, it says pro, pro only down the bottom. And basically, you can install WordPress. This takes just under a minute to install on our tests. And then you've also got pro clone mode. Now, pro clone mode has basically got built in FTP transport. It's got things like cleaning, it'll clean up your database on your when it restores, gets rid of all the junk. You've got things that you can do, like you can select clone and restore, so it'll clone um, from your site to your local computer and then back again. You've got clone only, so it'll just clone the site and then it'll keep it on your computer in your project folder of your choice, which you use that there. And then you've got restore, so once you've done a clone at an earlier date, you can restore at a later date. So that's just a quick overview of the pro clone mode. And as I say, we've got tool tips on all of these to show you exactly what they do. So back to the cloner. So what I'll do now is I'll just press start clone. We have a little warning come up just to make sure that we're doing what we want to do. So we click OK. And then I'll go and pause this and go and make a cup of tea. And I'll unpause it in a minute to show you the sites once they've done. Before I do that, I'll just show you so we're cloning onto this one which is Sitemon Pro so if I refresh that just to show you that it is actually the right site and then if we move that across there then you can see the other one Uber add-ons so I'll just refresh that one as well just to show you that it's the right site again there you go so you can see we're cloning this site here onto that site there when it's done. So, okay, you can see it's already made the clone image and it's now starting the restore process. So I'll just pause the video while it's doing that and I'll show you just when it completes. Okay, so as you can see, the clone process is finished and now we will check both sites. So we'll first bring up the source site. As you can see, and then we'll bring back up the there's the destination site. So if we refresh that, that should now be the same as the other one. And there you go. So that's the site that we cloned, Ubot Addons, onto that Sitemon Pro. And that is exactly the same as the Ubot Addon site, which is there. And there you go. Thank you very much for watching the demonstration of WP Master Clone.